morning, everybody, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big. Doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. Okay, so we're going to get into some NBA action for Christmas Day, December 25th. Before we do, I want to invite you to join. So you'll have access to this uh, VIP club section, which has every tool to help you make your picks. Okay, so let's take a look here. We got some good games on tap. First one, Philadelphia at New York. You see Philadelphia is coming in burning hot. They're winners of their last five, well, or six, actually. Well, the Knicks are burning hot down. They are 5-1 over their last six, coming off of a 113-106 loss. You see Philadelphia is favorites with odds of 1.56 to 2.215. If you check the over-under, uh, Philadelphia has been involved in games under the line three of the last four, while uh, New York has been over in two of their last four. Teams are trending on opposite sides of the line, so usually you tend to avoid the over-under in those scenarios. The score prediction has filled up your 112 to New York's 102 with a 90% level of confidence, a very high level of confidence in this pick. On the power ranks indicator, you see New York is on the upward trend at plus 27, while Philadelphia is at plus 24. If you take a look at the volatility oscillator, the stability factor, notice that Philadelphia is among the most stable teams in, in the league at plus 10, while New York is at plus 7. <clears throat> if you look at the head-to-head -head matchup, the teams met on November 4th with New York winning on the road by two points. In the end, though, I like Philadelphia to win this one by a narrow margin, perhaps needing overtime to do so. And I like a uh, game going over the line. At first, I was thinking about avoiding that over-under, but I think over the line is, is the play here. Los Angeles at Dallas. You see Los Angeles is coming in average down. Losers of their last two. Uh, Dallas, you look at their chart, they are... Losers are three out of their last five, but Dallas is a favorite, 1.32 to 3.880. And if you look at the power ranks indicator, you can see here that Dallas is on an up and downward trend, and now they went down to eight, and they've been steady at plus eight over the last couple of days, while the Lakers got up to plus 12 a few days ago. Now they have dropped down to plus 10. <clears throat> the confidence in prediction here of 61%, 61.5% is for Dallas to win by 19, 123 to 104. If we take a look at the volatility oscillator, you can see the stability factor. The Lakers are quite stable at plus 15, and Dallas is at plus 9, so they're consistently performing with regard to their favorite underdog status. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchup, you can see that they have not played yet this season, so this is the first matchup. So in the end, I like this one to be a Dallas win at home in a game going over the line. This is a game of the day. The top two teams in the Eastern Conference, Milwaukee at Boston. Boston was taking control early in the season of this conference, but you can see they're just one and five over the last six, and it took them overtime to beat the Lakers in that one win. So they are dead status, but yet they're still a favorite at home of 1.478 to 2.4. Uh, Milwaukee's average down coming off of a loss, and they are 3-2 and two over the last five. Conference in prediction of a 123-104 win for Boston is at 50%, so I like the toss of a coin on that one. I don't think it's going to be anywhere near that uh, margin of victory, no matter which team wins this contest. If you look at the power ranks in the carries, you can see Boston was at the top for the longest time, and now they have dipped down to 22, while Milwaukee has now climbed up at the top at plus 29. The stability factor, you see Milwaukee is at plus 9. Boston has dipped to plus 8 after their recent skid. They were as high as plus 13. In the end, I like Milwaukee on the road by about 3 points or less, but I think it's going to be a high-scoring game. Milwaukee over the line. Okay, Memphis and Golden State, we're not going to take a look at that one. We will take a look at the final game, though, Phoenix and Denver. Uh, Denver's coming in burning hot. You can see they're 5-1 over the last six. But they've been involved in games under the line in four of the last six, so defensive battles mostly. Phoenix, on the other hand, has been over the line in their last three, but they are averaged down three and three over the last six. Denver is the favorite at 1.664 to 2.032. On the score predictor, Denver 120 to 109, 63% level of confidence. <clears throat> on the power ranks indicator, here's another interesting thing. You see that Phoenix was dipped down to plus 15, which was their lowest total of the year, and now they have climbed since then. They're back up to plus 24. Well, Denver was at plus 27 just a week ago, and now they are at plus 22. If we take a look at the stability factor, are they consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status? Phoenix is at plus 10, and Denver is pretty much as well. They're at plus 6. 
in that regard. Um, head to head matchup, you can see that uh, the two teams met on October 10th, Denver by two, and that one 107 to 105 as a home underdog. This time they are a home favorite, and I do like Denver again in this one in a game decided by four points or less, but I would avoid the over under bet. So there you have it. Those are the games for Christmas Day, December 25th. Happy betting, happy holidays, and see you next time.